Well, basically, in the last week, we got the Magnitsky Act of Canada passed. Canada copied the U.S., put in place a Canadian Magnitsky Act, and this really infuriated Putin. Putin hates the Magnitsky Act because it targets his wealth and the wealth of other human rights violators in Russia. And as these um, uh, external sanctions start to gather momentum, he feels more and more helpless about what he's going to be able and to do. And how is that connected to you losing your U.S. visa? Well, I was the main advocate for the um, Canadian Magnitsky Act and the U.S. Magnitsky Act. And so Vladimir Putin put me on the Interpol most wanted list. He's been trying to do this for many years. Um, uh, he's been rejected by Interpol four times, but he succeeded at least temporarily in getting me on the list last week. And strangely, the U.S. visa system seems to be tied up with the Russian Interpol list because my uh, visa in going into America was immediately canceled. And so I've got two problems. One, an Interpol arrest warrant, and two, I can't travel to America right now. So your understanding is then, I'm assuming your understanding is that it's not the State Department does not want you to travel here. It's just that the bureaucratic, pro the bureaucratic, bureaucratic process, she tried to say, is that when you end up on the Interpol list, you will be denied a U.S. visa, and this situation has to be cleared up in some way. That, that's what I think is happening. Now, we, we will find out more, but based on the reaction of the Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. government shortly, if, if they quickly correct this, then that will show that it's a bureaucratic problem. If, if all of a sudden it lingers or hangs on, or if they get defensive, then, then obviously there's something more sinister at foot. Bill, does um, that I'm mean you're at risk of being arrested in the U.K.? No. The, the British government has fully protected me from any of these Russian uh, 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 abusive processes. Um, so you're safe but, right now? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm safe, I'm safe in, unless a Russian assassin shows up, and that's not impossible. The Russians have made death threats to me, but I'm not, I'm not at risk of being arrested in the UK. That won't happen. Would it be fair to assume that even if Interpol would not care, that you would likely not leave the UK right now? Would you go to France? Would you go to Switzerland? Would you go to Spain? Absolutely not. Uh, if I cross any international border, I will be arrested. The guys at the border haven't read my book, Red Notice, or don't know the Magnitsky story. All they see is an arrest warrant. Mm -hmm. They will arrest me, and I'll be sitting in a prison fighting extradition um, while Russia tries to get me back to Russia. Bill, anybody so, who's uh, listening thinks you sound American. It's because you used to be. Okay, please explain. I, I, You're not a U.S. citizen anymore, hence why you need the U.S. visa. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. It's a bit confusing. I, I emigrated to the United Kingdom 30 years ago. And I'm a British citizen, only a British citizen. I've never lost my accent, but um, uh, this is where I've been living for most of my life. Um, but I do travel to America, and it is useful to go there, particularly for my campaign for Magnitsky sanctions, because I'm still working on it and still working on implementing it with uh, many people in Washington. So you have reached, have you reached out to, explain something else to me. UK citizens generally don't need a visa to get on a plane to come to the United States. Why is this a process at all? Um, that's, that's actually uh, technically not true. We, we, uh, for a U.K. citizen, we need either a visa or something called an ESTA. An ESTA is, is a sort of visa light. And so I had an ESTA, and my ESTA was canceled. And um, so you need one of the two things in order to travel to America. So what happens so, next? Well, what happens next is there's a lot of, a lot of outrage in Washington. Senator McCain and Cardin um, uh, came out very strongly uh, challenging uh, uh, Secretary of State Tillerson in, in, on this issue. Um, uh, and, and lots of other people in Washington are, are saying, let's get this thing fixed. Bill Browder should not be banned from coming to America. He's the, he's the kind of person we want in America, not banned from America. All right, Bill, keep us updated, okay? Thank you. Bill Browder calling in from London. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.